All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today and for taking the time to attend today's webinar, The Perfect Getaway to the Peruvian Amazon. My name is Ana Camerar. I'm based in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I work for Emerging Destinations. We are a sales and marketing representation company in US and Canada. As we have two speakers on today's webinar, I don't want to take too much time introducing the Emerging Destinations portfolio. I will only say that we have a great, diverse, big and adventure portfolio in Africa and Central and South America, as well as some polar products. Our latest news is that we have added two companies to the portfolio, Sopa Lodges in Kenya and Tanzania, and Anantara Hotels and Resorts in Zambia and Mozambique. Before starting with the webinar, I would love to give you a few housekeeping items to go over for GoToWebinar. All attendees will be mute and this webinar is being recorded. So if you have to do a break or answer the phone, don't worry about that. We will be sending you the playback by email next week. We will also upload this recording on our YouTube channel, Emerging Destinations, as well as on our website, emergingdestinations.com. We encourage you sending any questions. You can do that on the GoToWebinar control panel on your right. We will be answering them either at the end of the presentation or by email in the upcoming weeks. Before starting with the webinar, I would like to briefly introduce our speakers. Mr. Joe Joggers is an experienced international journalist, author, editor, and photographer who provides editorial content to renowned publications like the Washington Post, Los Angeles Times, Continuous Traveler, BBC Travel, Travel and Leisure, CNN Travel, just to mention a few. Regarding his books for National Geographic, we find 50 states, 5,000 ideas, which was ranked number one at Amazon Travel Books, 100 parks, 5,000 ideas, and the newest a Southern Perfect Weekends to be launched in 2021 and where he includes his last trip to the Peruvian Amazon. Ms. Rosanna Guinea, Sales and Marketing Director at Jungle Experiences, who was previously work at From Peru developing the emerging markets. Please help me to welcome Rosanna and Joe. Good evening to all our friends in the travel industry that are listening from home in USA and Canada. Thank you so much for your time and interest in learning about the Peruvian Amazon and Jungle Experiences Amazon River Cruises. I am Rosana Guinea, and today I will give you some useful information about the Amazon rainforest, the Vacaya Samiria National Reserve in Peru, and why is it so rewarding to visit this unexplored side of the world on board a cruise ship. Please, please relax and enjoy the webinar. And let's start with a quick view of the new branding experience of Django Experiences. As you see, this is our new logo. And in a nutshell, Django Experiences offers a lifetime adventure sailing the, the Peruvian Amazon. And how do we get to the Peruvian Amazon rainforest? Well, as you all know, the COVID-19 crisis has forced many countries to temporarily close its international borders. However, once the tourism industry is restored on a regular year, uh, there is uh, a lot of connectivity between Canada and USA all the way to Peru. So from Canada, usually there are four direct flights every week from Toronto to Lima with Air Canada and from USA, a total of 89 flights direct from Atlanta, Newark, Houston, Los Angeles, Miami, New York, Orlando, Dallas, and Fort Lauderdale. And once you arrive in Lima, then you take a one and a half hour flight from Lima to Iquitos, the capital of Loreto region. This is the only city 
in the world which is inaccessible by road since it is surrounded by the Amazon River. And here is where your adventure begins. Now I will introduce you to our um, beautiful adventure cruise, La Perla. We are calling this experience La, the La Perla experience. Immerse in the Amazon jungle and live a fascinating adventure. La Perla is a classic style cruise with a modern touch with a capacity for 30 passengers to sail with total comfort in the depth of the Amazon jungle. This is a standard cabin on board La Perla, as you, as you can see, 150 square feet with two single beds or one king size bed and private bathroom. As you can see, it has op wide open windows. This is the Amazon View cabins, 172 square feet with two twin beds or a king size bed with a private bathroom. It also shares a balcony with another Amazon View cabin. And here is our third type of cabin. This is the largest cabin on board La Perla. It is 215 square feet with a king size bed and a private bathroom. This type of uh, cabin is also ideal for traveling with kids because you can accommodate an additional bed. And in this type of cabin, you have a private balcony. Now I am showing our interior lounge also has an interior bar and a reading room. This place is ideal after a full day of excursions for the travelers to just relax, have a drink, pick a book and read a little bit more, learn a little bit more about the Amazon. As you can see, the open wide windows connect the traveler with what's happening outside during the trip. Now I'm showing the dining room on board La Perla. As you can see, also it has the wide open windows. And it's important to mention that for gastronomy, we use uh, natural products and unique products from the region, in, including fruits and vegetables. This is our observation deck, ideal for relaxing an outdoor common area where you can also have a drink. And we also have a hammock area, which is very special and uh, ideal for relaxing and just feeling the breeze and uh, the movement of the cruise as it's sailing. Now I'm going to pass on the presentation to Anna because she's going to uh, show you a brief video of La Perla experience. Thank you. And, and are, are you watching my uh, screen, please? So I can continue. 
Anna, can you listen? Can you listen to yes, me? Yes, you can continue. Okay. You can Wonderful. continue, Rosana. Everyone is so watching much. your screen. Thank you so much for this beautiful video. It's a, a summary of La Perla experience. It's a beautiful experience uh, on board the, the ship across the Bacay Samira National Reserve. And now I want to introduce you to the Safiro experience. Safiro is our luxury cruise ship where you can enjoy a luxurious service while you sail through the majestic Peruvian Amazon. Safiro, on board Safiro, comfort is an essential part of the experience. This is a luxury river cruise designed with elegance and modernity. It has a capacity for 40 passengers with panoramic windows that are characteristic of the suites of this cruise, along with the outdoor areas to enjoy the breeze and the scenery to make the traveler on board Safiro feel part of the Amazon all the time during their experience on board. Now I am showing our standard suites on the first deck. As you can see, they have panoramic windows from ceiling to floor to enjoy the landscape and magical scenery outdoors. These suites are really um, spacious, so the passenger feels really uh, on a luxurious experience. We also have connecting rooms on the first deck. Um, these suites can be ideal for families that are traveling with kids. Then we have the standard suites on the second deck. Additionally uh, to the standard suite, suites on the first deck, on the second deck, these suites enjoy um, balcony. So they have a private balcony, just sit down and relax and feel the breeze and the scenery outside as they are sailing. Then we have these uh, 90 degree angle view cabins. As you can see, these are the master cabins and they are on both sides at uh, the front of the ship. Um, as you can see, the angle, uh, the view it gets, is getting wider, it's 90 degrees. Here we can accommodate either two beds or a king size bed. And finally, I want to introduce our star suite, which is the Sapphiro suite. It has 180 angle views. As you can see, it has a private balcony, a living room, and a jacuzzi. This suite is currently uh, the most luxurious suite on board a river cruise in uh, the Bacay Samira National Reserve. And on board this suite, we can accommodate a total of four passengers. All Safiro suites are equipped with a desk, a luggage rack, a hair dryer, an interior telephone, and an amenities kit. As far as common areas, we have our indoor lounge and bar. This space is really uh, wide open. Uh, it's important to mention that even though on board Safiro we can accommodate a total of 40 passengers, on these common areas, there is enough space for a total of 100 passengers. So this means that uh, social distancing is easy to uh, respect, right? And this, on this indoor lounge area, it's also the space for the people to relax, uh, travelers to relax after a one day, a full day of excursions, uh, where they can have a drink on the indoor bar or also read a book I learn more about the Amazon rainforest. Then I am showing on this slide our dining room. Safiro offers international gastronomy with an Amazonian fusion. Um, it's a really uh, delicious food, and we are serving um, from breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're serving menu a la carte, and it's important to mention that we are always using fresh, fresh products from the region, including local fruits and vegetables. As you can see, it's also really nice, this dining room, because of the open wide uh, panoramic windows from, from ceiling to uh, floor. We also have outdoor common areas, including an observation deck and a solarium for people to enjoy just the sun, 
and this uh, this uh, sitting lounge are really comfortable and they can have a drink on the outdoor bar or enjoy a nice uh, refreshing bath on the jacuzzi after a full day of excursion. And now um, I'm also sharing the common areas indoor. We have a massage room where we can we we provide this service massage therapies with aromatherapy and uh, we can also um, organize these massages to be a, a, inside each pass passenger's cabin. It depends on what the passenger wants. And then we have also an exercise room, which is really nice for some of our sporty travelers. Uh, they find it really useful. And this is uh, a panoramic view of our beautiful cruise ship Sapphiro. As you can see, the first deck has the standard uh, suites with uh, um, panoramic windows from floor to ceiling. Then we have on the second deck, the standard suites, including the balcony. Then we have the, um, the Amazon view suites on both sides that have the 90 degree angle views. And finally, at the front, we have the Sapphire suite with 180 degree angle views. Then um, on the upper deck here, we have the jacuzzi, the open bar, um, and in here is the common indoor area uh, where we also have shows um, uh, at every night. The crew uh, on, on board Safiro, um, every, every member of the crew has a, a, a specific uh, function on the show. Some of them play uh, instruments, others sing, others dance. So it's a really nice, um, really nice uh, moment for the passengers to interact with the crew. And then on the back side of the cruise, here is we are we locate um, the dining room. Here is the the where the passengers board the ship. So basically, that's that's all the explanation of our beautiful Safiro cruise river cruise ship. And now I'm going to pass this uh, to Anna. She's going to show you again uh, a small video of the Safiro experience. Thank you. so much Anna for um, for sharing this beautiful video uh, that uh, it's a summary of the Safira experience I really hope uh, that you have enjoyed it and uh, we wait for you in the Amazon we invite you to uh, sell our beautiful cruises uh, um, jungle experience cruises uh, that uh, are sailing in the Pakai Samira National Reserve and 
part of the experience, really the, the heart of the, of the experience are the, uh, the excursions we have. We have three excursions a day, one before breakfast, one after breakfast, and one after lunch. And here I'm gonna pass the presentation to Joe because uh, he's gonna share with you uh, what has been his experience on board La Perla cruise ship and his experience uh, visiting the beautiful and unique Amazon, Peruvian Amazon. So thank you very much. And now it's Joe's turn to start talking. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, thanks for joining us today. Um, I guess I should start by saying that um, over the last 20 years, I've been to the Amazon six times. And during those trips, I've learned that it can be really, really difficult and really, really easy. And I know that because I've done it both ways. Um, my first trip was a National Geographic assignment to uh, Manu National Park in southern Peru. And it, back in those days, there was no jungle experiences. There were no luxury uh, river boats to get you where you wanted to go or to sleep on at night. Um, I basically had to organize my, my own expedition. I had to hire a boat and a boatman, a cook, a translator, and a naturalist guide. And the five of us spent uh, two weeks uh, sleeping in tents, eating over campfires and bathing in the rivers with um, the Cayman crocodiles and the anacondas and the piranhas um, and managed to survive it. Um, my most recent trip was um, on La Perla, um, a four day, three night cruise um, um, from Iquitos up to uh, Pacaya Samaria National Reserve. Um, that was really the, the polar opposites from my first journey. Um, we uh, slept in large, comfortable cabins with picture windows to watch the river and the jungle outside. Um, we had an amazing array of great food, both international dishes and, and Peruvian um, specialties. Um, I'm a pretty adventurous eater, um, so I really like the Peruvian food. Um, and uh, sitting on the top deck uh, drinking Pisco Sours, which is uh, the national cocktail of Peru, um, watching sunset over the Amazon. Um, so it was quite different, let me tell you. Um, and um, before I get into the actual journey, I would really suggest that anyone who does this builds in a day at either end of the Jungle Experiences um, cruise to spend some time um, you know, exploring Iquitos. It's a really fascinating city. Um, I, think it, I think other than Manus in Brazil, it's the largest city in the Amazon basin. And um, there's actually a lot to do. The Manatee Rescue Center, which actually rescues a lot of indigenous Amazon wildlife other than just manatees. Um, there is um, the Amazon Maritime Museum down on the waterfront, which details the history of navigation on the river. There is a living butterfly museum. Um, there's a museum of indigenous Amazon cultures. And there's my favorite, which is the Casa de Fierro, which is an iron, a two-story iron house cast iron house that was built in France and designed by the same guy who designed the Eiffel Tower, shipped all the way across the Atlantic Ocean, up the Amazon River, and reconstructed on the main plaza in Iquitos. Um, it's a really fascinating piece of architecture and history. Um, the journey, um, like I said, was um, four, four days and three nights um, up um, one of the tributaries of the Amazon to Pacaya Samaria National Reserve which is one of the biggest and best national parks in the whole Amazon basin. Um, just to give you an idea of how, how large it is, um, it's larger than, than Yosemite, Yellowstone, and Grand Canyon National Parks combined, uh, which means it's, it's pretty darn big. Um, and it has more than 2,000 species of uh, plants and animals. And the wildlife includes iconic creatures like the jaguar, the anaconda, the giant river otter, and the pink dolphin. Um, I'm a real wildlife guy myself. I mean, that's why I went to the Amazon originally and why I keep going back. And this journey was a fantastic opportunity to, to not just see, but also get up close and photograph um, Amazon animals, you know, birds and mammals, um, reptiles and insects. Um, great opportunity for that, um, which you can see in some of my photos in the slideshow. Um, and, um, there's also um, cultural experiences like visits to an Amerindian villages um, where you get to visit a local school and see what education is like in the middle of the Amazon. Um, you get to purchase 
uh, handicrafts that people in those villages make themselves. And you get to participate in a sacred shaman ceremony, which is really fascinating. It's, it's a real insight into the indigenous cultures of the Amazon. Um, and then, they, then there, there are the excursions. Um, jungle experiences really doesn't give you time to get bored. Um, there's certainly time to relax, like I said, with a Pisco Sour or in a hammock uh, or your air conditioned uh, cabin. But um, there's, there's three opportunities a day to get off the, the ship and either onto dry land or onto smaller boats. Um, there's uh, piranha fishing. Um, they're after dark jungle excursions in the smaller boats to see what's out at night, the nocturnal animals. Um, you get a chance to swim in an Amazonian river, which is, which is really an, a unique experience. Um, and um, if you go in the dry season like I did, you get a chance to actually hike through the jungle, which is another chance to get uh, up close and personal with the giant trees, but also animals like sloths and monkeys, um, and uh, butterflies and lizards and, and even tarantulas. Um, so the um, really the, the shore excursions and the small boat excursions are really a highlight of the trip. Um, it's something else I would say is that the, the, the cruises are small enough and, and that you can you really get to know all of your fellow passengers. And by the end of the cruise, even if it's only three or four days, you're friends with these people um, and their families. Um, sharing meals, sharing, sharing the, the the shore excursions and sharing experiences with them is really a special part of the journey. Um, two other quick things. Um, it's, um, you know, on my first journey to the Peruvian Amazon, it took us two days of driving on rough roads up and over the Andes just to get to the, the little river port where we started the journey. Uh, my trip on Jungle Experiences, it was, you know, a 90 minute flight from, from Lima to Iquitos. That, that was it. Um, and a 90 minute flight to get back out at the end of the journey. Uh, really, it's such a difference than spending two days in a four by four on really rough roads. Um, and the other thing I like to say is that it's really easy to, com to combine a jungle experience as an Amazon cruise with a visit to Machu Picchu and Cusco and Lima because of modern flight connections. It's, you know, like I said, it's 90 minutes to Lima and I think it's 90 minutes to two hours from, from Iquitos to Cusco. And then you can journey up to um, Machu Picchu by, by train or, or you can hike the Inca Trail to get there. Um, but it's a perfect kind of triangle in Peru to do the, the three biggest sites all in one trip. Um, and the four day, three night, or, or the uh, four night, three day itineraries also means that even with the journey there and back from North America or Europe, you can get the trip in and have your Amazon experience in a single week, rather than than two or three weeks like my my first journey. So, so that was my experience um, from from the hard, doing it the hard way to doing it the easy way, the easy comfortable way with jungle experiences. So, thanks. Thank you so much, Joe, uh, Joe for sharing your experience with us. Uh, it's been, you have some beautiful pictures that we've been able to, to show everybody, everybody that's listening uh, today. And uh, you've had some very beautiful experiences and it's really nice to know that your experience on board La Perla was unique and unforgettable. And I really hope that uh, everybody that's listening can uh, get in love with these beautiful products and can uh, sell it with for their clients. Now I am going to continue with the presentation, I'm gonna show you that uh, in Pacay Sumeria, there are two seasons, the high water season that runs from December to May and the low water season that runs from June to uh, November. Uh, the high water season also known as the wet season is the time of the year that's marked by rains and storms. And in, in, it is in this month when most plants bloom or bear fruit, drawing a unique spectacle. Birds and primates are drawn to this spectacle and can be seen on the banks of the river. And then we have the dry season. At this time, the climate is of course drier and the low water levels attract creatures that can hardly be seen in the rainy season. The flow of rivers decreases in this period, revealing surprising sandy beaches, an ideal time to stroll through the forest and discover the Amazonian flora and fauna. 
So a uh, question that I get asked a lot is, what time of the year is the best to visit the Peruvian Amazon? And the answer is any time, because every time you go to the Amazon, it's uh, different. You're gonna see changes in the in the flora, in the fauna, and uh, in just the uh, the scenery. Because uh, remember, we are in the heart of live of uh, of living species. You know, small and 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 big animals and plants. So that changes all the time. And the only difference is that uh, in high water season, there's more time to do more uh, excursions on board our skiffs. And on the low water season, there is more time to do excursions walking. That's the, the main difference. But the experiences are unique each time you go. And then I want to explain a little bit about our itineraries. We have uh, Safiro that offers three types of itineraries, the seven nights that goes from Saturday to Saturday. Then we have four nights from Saturday to Wednesday and three nights from Wednesday to Saturday. And if you board La Perla, we have six nights from Sunday to Saturday, then three nights from Sunday to Wednesday, and three nights from Wednesday to Saturday. Like I said before, we have three excursions every day on board any of our cruises. All excursions are included in the price. And uh, although they are not mandatory, but we always try to motivate our passengers to try each of the excursions because these excursions are what makes uh, the trip unique and unforgettable. Um, so now I want to explain briefly about our COVID-19 enhanced protocols. Of course, uh, we have uh, uh, innovated with new enhanced protocols, uh, hygiene and security. Uh, once the passenger arrives, we're gonna uh, check their vital signs for typical signs like cough, fever, headache. And um, if the passengers uh, are looking very sick, they will be able to board the cruise. Then of course, our motor vessels uh, are designed to uh, respect social distancing. Because like I said before, for example, the Safiro uh, cruise uh, is able to accommodate 40 passengers. However, the common areas, are designed for up to 100 people. The same happens in La Perla. The, the cabins in La Perla accommodate 28 passengers. However, the uh, common areas are designed for up to 70 people. So social distancing is respected. Um, we have hired a new position on our crew. It's a, a, a doctor that's supervising that the um, the new uh, health uh, health uh, care uh, parameters are respected, and the new protocols are respected on board the three of our cruise ships. Uh, he's supervising everything, and this is a new position that we have hired. Then we, of course, we always have a paramedic on board. This has even been before COVID-19, but we we are keeping this. Of course, we have a paramedic on board. And uh, we have enhanced our cleaning and disinfection procedures using ozone gas, with it, which is uh, a very effective uh, form of dis uh, disinfecting. And it's also a gas that's not toxic for, uh, for humans. We are offering uh, complementary masks to the travelers. And we are, have also implemented antibacterial gel, of course, in each of the decks of all of our crews. So basically, that, that, that's a summary for, of all our new health and uh, security measures. I invite you to fall in love with the Amazon, to get to know uh, the world of uh, jungle experiences, enlighten yourself with an authentic Amazon experience. And we are waiting for you in the Amazon. The Amazon has uh, had time to rest. And now Iquitos is the first city in the world to, that is known to be free of COVID. There's no more COVID in Iquitos. So uh, we are ready for you. We are expecting you. We hope that international borders are open uh, for USA and Canada really soon, hopefully in the following months. And uh, we invite you, we're waiting for you here in the jungle of Peru. Thank you very much for listening.
Thank you so much, Rosanna. Thank you so much, Joe, for sharing your experiences and your presentation with us. Um, so now I have a few questions for you. Um, so again, travel buyers, if if you want to to know anything special from Joe or from Rosanna, just please type those questions on the control panel on your right. So the first question I have for you, Rosanna, is. Uh, can you remind us what is included in the price and what is not, and make sort of a comparison between Safido and La Perla in terms of uh, inclusions? Okay, yes, yes, sure, I can answer the question. Do you have another question for Joe first? No, uh, yeah, 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 I was I was taking for for questions for him, but we don't have actually questions for Joe. All the questions are related to to jungle experiences, to the services and amenities. So, uh, OK. OK, no problem. One moment. OK, so uh, Safiro includes a one night uh, hotel uh, accommodation in the Table Tree by Hilton Iquitos Hotel. If you take the eight days and seven nights option or the five days and four nights option, then we include a one night stay uh, the accommodation at uh, the Double Tree by Hilton Hotel in Iquitos. And that night, the passenger can choose if they if they um, if they use this uh, this benefit before boarding the ship or after boarding the ship. And then everything else I'm going to mention now, it's included on all the itineraries, the eight days, seven nights, five days, four nights, and four days, three nights. It includes lunch before boarding at Double Tree by Hilton Iquitos Hotel, all meals on board Safiro, all excursions and equipment, including our hiking boots and ponchos for the rain, transfers from and to the ship upon arrival on recommended flights to Quitos, entrance to the Pacaya Samirian National Reserve, the entrance fee, I mean, and we include natural juices, of course, sodas, infusions, water, and national alcoholic beverages during meals. We also offer complimentary pisco sour on board Safiro. And itineraries in La Perla include all meals on board La Perla, all excursions and equipment, including our hiking boots and ponchos, transfers from and to the ship upon arrival and recommended flights to Iquitos, transfers in case you are staying in hotels in the city of Iquitos, we will uh, include the transfer to board the ship, and transfer to the Pacaya Samira National Reserve as well, as natural juices, coffee, of course, water infusions, are included uh, during meals. That's basically basically what it's included. Uh, it's important to highlight that we include all excursions on every uh, option of our itineraries. We include three excursions a day. So just to wrap up, the main difference in terms of inclusions of benefits included between Safiro and La Perla is that Safiro include one night pre or post tour at the Double Tree by Hilton in Iquitos and also the national alcohol on board. And La Perla doesn't include that night at Double Tree. Um, the beverages are just sodas uh, and not alcohol. Am I correct? Yes, yes, of course. Okay. And that uh, Safiro includes that one night uh, accommodation on two options of itinerary, the eight days, seven nights, and the five days, four nights. The smaller right. option, the shortest option, the four days, uh, three nights does not include the uh, one night. So. Great. Yeah. And what about gratuities? W which is your recommendation? Well, uh, gratuities, of course, are not mandatory, right? But we recommend we recommend uh, passengers, uh, you know, uh, a fee, uh, a gratuity fee per day for the guides, our special uh, special guides, and also the crew that's uh, servicing the passengers. Um, it's uh, around $50 a day on board Safira and around uh, 20 to $25 a day on board that person. Okay, great. So I have another question. And in fact, when I read that question, I get sort of confused. Uh, not sure if I'm 
wrong or not. Um, is there a straight flight from Amazon to Machu Picchu without a stopover in Cusco? I think that there's no airport in Machu Picchu. They need to 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 land in in Cusco. That's right. That's right. The, I mean, currently there's not a direct flight from Machu Picchu to to uh, to the Amazon. There are flights from Cusco to Iquitos. Yes, there used to be okay. several. Right now, uh, we we we're sort of uh, have to wait and see what happens with the uh, process of uh, uh, developing the connectivity again. There are some, uh, of course, uh, national connecting flights that have been restored, and uh, we are waiting for the one that goes from Cusco to. But there's no airport currently in Machu. Okay, and what about the borders? Are Peru already open to international travelers? Yes, we have opened our borders to international travelers, but only to some countries, basically Latin American countries at the moment, countries such as Chile, Colombia. We are waiting for Mexico soon, and hopeful by the end of this year, we will open international borders for USA and Canada. Okay, so US and Canada, they, they can't still uh, travel to Peru, but you are looking to, to open the borders soon for them and do you know if uh, they require when when arriving to peru if uh, is there a test a negative test required or what type of of requirements does the government place yeah for the travelers? government is required uh, a test to the, 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 the travelers to be able to travel to peru once it's uh, uh, open the possibility for sure they're gonna have to be tested uh before before they travel they're gonna have to have a, a test that shows that they are negative with the virus and they're going to have this uh, proof you know when they enter the country so they bring it from home they have to test on <laughs> home yeah okay i have another question uh does the ships stops at local villages we have part of the excursions include the visit to local communities yes as always um of course, we have uh, we have um, how would you say a modified a little bit the experience because uh, we we are respecting social distancing, but it's mm -hmm. still part of the experience to visit local communities. And of course, um, we are it's not mandatory. Like I said in the beginning, none of our excursions are mandatory. The passenger is uh, entitled to decide if they want to do it or not. But we are still offering it, and we are respecting social distancing. Okay, and what about, um, I have a question, are these uh, two river cruises, Safiro and La Perla, wheelchair accessible? Wheelchair accessible. Um, well, we have had some passengers that, uh, that need, uh, you know, handicapped passengers before, and uh, we take care mm -hmm. of the situation with our crew, basically. But what we do is, is they have to, they have to, um, take the cameras are on the first deck. And then, yeah, it's a little bit complicated to go upstairs to the uh, the main uh, meeting area, but we take care of it with the help of our crew. I mean, it, it's it's possible. If, if a handicapped uh, traveler wishes to uh, leave the, the Sapphire experience or the La Perla experience, we will be able to make it possible for them. Okay, and uh, you recommend any vaccination due to the Amazon area visits? Is something well, mandatory? It's not mandatory in our country. It's something that it, uh, it depends on the traveler wishes. Uh, but a very common, you know, vaccine that uh, when you visit uh, certain uh, uh, locations, you know, um, tropical locations such as the Amazon is the yellow vaccine. Uh, the yellow vaccine the yellow fever the yellow fever vaccine yeah that's something that's very common to take but it's to, to get you know before you travel to the amazon however in peru it's not mandatory you don't have to have the vaccine to be able to do it. okay uh then uh we have another question regarding the cabins are all cabins with a balcony i remember that safiro 
do not offer balcony on the first deck, but we do offer balcony on the second deck. What about La Perla? Correct, correct. Uh, I, I believe I showed you a, a, a picture of the boat, and I can go back and explain again if you wish about Sapiro. You're looking here is a picture of both boats. Uh, here on Sapiro, we have on the first deck the standard cabins with um, no balcony. Then on the second deck, the standard cabins with a balcony, right? And then the, the cabins, uh, the, the, of course, the, the Sapiro suite, I mean, the Sapiro suite also has a balcony. The only ones that don't have a balcony are the standards on the first deck. And then in La Perla, we have three types of cabins and two of them have balconies. The Amazon View cabins share a balcony in between two cabins. And then the superior cabins have a private balcony. Great. I, ha I have a question for Joe. Um, regarding your experience, how safe to swim in Amazon River? For example, piranhas, crocodiles, um, they won't let you swim anywhere that's not safe. Um, my experience on La Perla was that they take you up a little tributary to what's basically a sandy beach and you swim, you, you walk in from the beach and um, the boats are out there in case you want to get in the boat and you're wearing, they make you wear a life jacket. So, so I didn't feel any fear at all um, doing it on the La Perla trip. Um, I actually didn't feel any fear doing it 20 years ago on that first trip. Um, and um, I just figured that the guides won't let you go in the water if you're going to get chomped by something. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, exactly. If I can add something to what Joe's, uh, Joe's answer is that the guides know really well the rivers and they know the exact moment when you are able swim in the river so they're going to tell you it's today at this time if you want you take the excursion now and you're going to be able to swim in the river and let me tell you it's the most refreshing experience because in the amazon of course there's a lot of um i mean there's a lot of sun it's really hot really wet and the temperature on the river is beautiful so it's a really refreshing experience mm -hmm. as you can see on the pictures all the people are smiling because it's really it's a wonderful experience and it's mandatory to use a life jacket. Great. So I have the two last questions. Um, uh, basically, Safiro and La Perla, both of them, they do the same routes or what, what is the difference between the, the itineraries? I think that Safiro goes a bit deeper to the Pacasha Samiria National Reserve. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a, a long conversation to explain in detail about the routes. However, if to summarize, basically the both uh, both um, cruises uh, cruise along the Marañón, the Ucayali, and the Amazon River. However, the uh, length of the sailing is much longer on board Sapiro. Just longer, so you get to more sail more. But it's basically the same. Okay. The same tributaries and the same river. Okay. So you will be sailing more hours on the Amazon River on board Safiro than in La Perla. Yes. Yes. Great. So the last question I have for Rosanna uh, is um, US currency is the one to bring or do, we do passengers need to change money? I mean, if you're gonna uh, go on the excursion to visit local communities, and uh, it's a, a time, the opportunity to purchase some of the art and craft that the local, uh, the local women, uh, you know, do with their own hands. At that time, it's it's useful to have local currency for that, but it's just a small, a smaller amounts. On board the ship, uh, we accept U.S. dollars as well. So either either Peruvian Nuevo Sol or US dollar, no problem. Or credit cards. Yeah, of course. Okay. 
And do they need to add any additional tax uh, or something to enter on the Pacasha Samiria National Reserve? This is already included in the price. It's included in the price. You don't have to pay anything. Great. Okay, great. So I think this is all for today's webinar, uh, the perfect getaway in the Peruvian Amazon early next week. We will be sending you a follow-up email with useful information as well as the recording. The playback will be also available uh, very soon on our YouTube channel, Emerging Destinations, as well as on our website, emergingdestinations.com. So I pass all over to you, Joe and Rosanna, if you want to say goodbye to the audience, I leave you with them. Okay, thanks everyone for joining us today. Um, hope you found it useful and fun. Yeah, thank you very much as well. Thank you for your time, for your interest. Uh, we wait for you in the Peruvian Amazon. We are eager to uh, receive you with open hands and friendly faces. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you so much and hope you have a wonderful afternoon and see you in the Peruvian Amazon. Bye. Bye.